everybody in here sitting here on my porch having my coffee with all of you. I'm just going to do some lovely, enjoyable things. I am going to bake or roast or whatever a uh, full chicken, a whole chicken out on the little stove, uh, grill, whatever that is out there, oven. Um, and I think I'm going to try and make some rice stuffing with it, maybe. I don't know. I want to see. But I have been wanting to do this. So today I'm going to do this. I have, you have to have a spray bottle, I guess, to spritz it with. So I got one of those and I'm going to get this mushroom growing kit started because I love oyster mushrooms. I would have loved to have had some of these with today's meal, but I don't. So I'll have to use some canned mushrooms. So I was reading the instructions for this here little mushroom kit and guess what? It comes with a little spray bottle. I could have been starting this a long time ago. And I also read that you need to soak the bag and let it set overnight. So I'm just going to go do that tonight and I will take you through the rest of the processes the next day or whatever. So I'm just going to go, uh, I don't know, and cover my plants. I've already let the chickens out. Uh, five eggs, no, four eggs, uh, three white and one brown. I think Coco still needs to lay. Miss Fr Pris Fancy Pants is still in the back uh, sitting on her eggs and she's eating and she's drinking because I can tell... I kind of look how much is in there, and she seems to be doing just fine. I've opened up the van and, and the windows and everything because it's actually a very sunny, kind of warm day today, and uh, I need, I want plenty of ventilation to get back there on her so she doesn't get too hot herself. And uh, yeah, uncover the plants, and um, I don't know, bake a chicken, roast a chicken, however, really. <laughs> so what do we have here? We got lots of stuff. We got something right here. I don't know if those are... I think that's a zucchini right there. Yes, I do. Because the cucumbers are over there. They look just a little bit different. This may be another zucchini as well. Don't know. Nothing growing in the lemon, lemon balm or whatever else that is. Some of these pots don't have anything in them. But... And I'm glad I could took this top off because... Look like some of the tomatoes uh, are getting a little burnt. Yeah, cherry tomatoes there. Only one pot. These three aren't growing. Something's in there. I don't know what it is. See that arugula? <laughs> totally burnt. Uh, yeah, we got some butternut squash. The eggplant is coming up right there. Herbs are flourishing. Um, my cayenne peppers over there. Um, my seeds in the little row that's like right there from last year are coming up. And in that little section there, that section is the other seeds. Zucchini are coming up. And this is the jalapeno pepper bucket. And I don't think there is a single jalapeno pepper sprouting up in here. You know what I think we got going on in here? I think this is just weeds and grass and whatnot because uh, remember this dirt? I kind of cultivated it or harvested it from my land and there's probably just some some seeds of the weeds in there so who knows what will come up. Um, I may have a pepper plant there and there. Don't know. Don't know. So I'm thinking of actually maybe putting these some of these in the actual garden beds. I just have to figure out what I want to put where. The last frost date in this area is supposed to be April 9th, which is next Friday. I've already looked at weather reports. It's not going to drop below like 45, 50 degrees overnight uh, for the next couple weeks, so that's good. Look at this beautiful beauty berry plant. Would you just look at that? It's coming back. I'm so happy. Yes. I've just kind of put these pots out here just to kind of you know make it so papa doesn't come back into this area because he's he can still get out over there i don't have that blocked off yet but the peppermint's doing great walking onions are doing great passion fruits doing absolutely nothing i don't know maybe maybe that's part of it who knows chives chives all doing great so i don't know i think i might start planting some stuff in these here garden beds time is coming back here peppermint oregano more time chives more time more time peppermint oh and look at my bulbs yep my canis lilies however you say those those big beautiful lilies mr lucas gave me they're starting to come back 
No lemon balm. I'm not seeing any lilies back there. Chives are doing okay. Looks like the rosemary is trying, trying to come back. More chives. And look at this. This is the sage. What do you think? You think that's trying to come back? That oregano is doing great. I've noticed that these two garden beds have settled a little bit. There's plenty of soil in that one. But I think I'm going to add another bag of soil here and just kind of mix it up with what's already down there. I think I'm going to dump some coffee grounds in these two as well. Um, yeah, so I think I'll do that and maybe, I don't know, maybe plant, plant some green beans in there. Time to roast the chicken. I have put a dry rub on it and it's going to be delicious. Sticking it in the Coleman Camp oven outside. I preheated the oven to like, I don't know, 400, but it dropped down to about 350 or so. Put the chicken in there. Oh gosh, this is gonna be so good. there yet. Yep, it's got a little bit more to go. Let's just cut into this a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's still a little pink down there. Yep, still a little bit pink. It's got to go back in the oven. Potatoes are almost done though. Yeah, I would say the potatoes are done. Here's the real test. Nope, it, they should be basically falling off of that carcass. Yeah, it's still a little bit pink. I don't think it's done yet, you guys. Better to be safe than sorry, right? Yep, I still see some pink juices down in there, so, hmm. I think it's gotta go back in the oven. Yep. Let's take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks like it's done now. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. So I'm just going to cover it up with some foil and let it rest for about 15 minutes. Little Papa, he's beat. He's taking a nap. He is such a good boy. It's time to plate it up. Oh, I can't wait. Hmm, these potatoes are done perfect. They're so creamy. Mmm, delicious. Let me try some of this chicken. So good, so moist. I was afraid I was gonna dry it out, but it is totally not dried out. Oh, this is so good. Yes, Papa, you can have some. Hang on, hang on. Just look at that. Yum, it's dripping with juices. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.